Hello everyone, my name is Sirmant Kumar, you are watching some basic tech. So uh, today's session we will cover about how uh, you can create your standard user or administrator user on your Windows system. So uh, first of all, uh, in Windows environment, we get three types of users. Uh, first, administrator, second, standard user and third, guest user. Okay, so first of all, the administrator user have all rights, so whatever you can uh, you want to create, you want to delete, you want to modify sometime registry settings and all that you can just do that but uh, on a standard user have a uh, multiple functionalities have uh, a good amount of uh, authentication and authorizations but that cannot uh, just perform the admin right admin uh, modifications suppose uh, any network driver deletions, installations or modification in uh, control panel or something and uh, if we just talk about guest user so guest user have a very restricted access uh, only can see only can watch anything even this user can't be delete anything and can't we create any modify any setting inside windows so we will if you want to enable guest user for your kids and for your all uh, specific actions, you can just enable it. Just do right click, go to properties, and you can just click. And here, this user will be enabled. Okay. And uh, the second thing, uh, administrator account is default uh, disabled. But if you want to enable, so through your first user account creation that account creates with admin rights so you can perform the most of the activity on your system okay so uh, i have enabled my administrator user account in my system and uh, let's create the standard user so just do right click here and uh, click to new user and just write down whatever name you want for creation so suppose test user you can just uh, specify uh, whatever things you would like to hear. And second thing in description, if you want to uh, add something extra. And then add your password. And uh, this option is for, suppose any user is going to log in on your uh, new user. Suppose you are giving, if you are giving this user standard rights to the new user. And uh, so you can just click this option. So uh, that user can uh, definitely change the password and can uh, set up according to him and uh, if you want to create this user for your own self so just uncheck and click for password never expire and uh, if you want to disable this user you can just click here to disable and it will be disabled so once you click to create it will be created suppose i'm going to create it's showing me standard user because i don't have rights so if you want to uh, open this panel with the admin rights, you just need to uh, go to search bar, type terminal and open run as administrator. Once you do this, it is asking for the username and password. I'm just providing. Once it is done, I'm able to log in my terminal and uh, you need to put the same command here lusrmgr.msc means we will prompt this section here and with the admin rights so once we are here we need to follow the same rule test user test user and uh, i'm going to create this user with a uh, password and uh, just never expire click to create it's done and you can see I have a test user, okay? And uh, this is with the standard access. If you want to verify, just go to properties and go to member of. You can see this user is in uh, users group only, okay? And uh, if you want to make this user as a administrator, just add, click to add and uh, go to advance, find now and uh, type administrators so once you double click to the administrators do okay 
now this user will be become as an administrator and just click OK. So this user will uh, have the proper access with the admin rights and uh, that's all. It's done. Your user has been created with the password and with the admin rights. And even if you want to modify the admin rights, you can just come to the member of administrator, remove. Okay. So that's all about user creation. And uh, I'm also going to delete this user. Just click delete, delete. That's it. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, kindly do subscribe, like, share. And uh, thank you so much. Have a nice day.